So I prophesied as he commanded me. And the breath came into them. And they lived and stood up upon their feet. An exceeding great army. <laughs> Loud as a trumpet trying to reach the people. Scopus, naysayers, you hypocrites. And keeping one damn law, your honor with your lips. Blind guys leading the blind into a pit. You two fold the child of hell, then your pastor is. Once a people with no mercy, we will pass the kids. All praises to the Father, we've been reconciled. We birth, resurrected, and regenerated. Sin using flesh, cover bones that were naked. This holy Bible is the antidote to heal the people. But we still some stiff neck and rebellious children.
on the Sabbath day and show you the importance of keeping it. Give me that Exodus 31. Exodus chapter 31 verse 16. 13. Speak thou also unto the children of Israel saying, Bear in my Sabbath you shall keep. For it is a sign between me and you. 
The Lord said, Verily, my Sabbath you shall keep. It's a sign between the Most High God and the children of Israel, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We, throughout your generation, throughout what? Your generation. So while we keep having children, we're supposed to be reverencing the Sabbath day. Not out here keeping Seattle delay. This is why we stay on the bottom. This very reason right here. Because we want to continue in sin. We love sin. We. That ye may know that I am the Lord that do sanctify you. Ye shall keep the Sabbath, therefore, for it's holy unto you. So the Sabbath is holy unto us. The Sabbath don't belong to nobody else but these people on these twelve sides. That's right. The, the Sabbath is for us. That's how God look at us. We special to him. And we're going to show you that. Read. Everyone that defile of it shall surely be put to death. Everyone that do what? Defile it shall be surely be put to death. So, if you got caught buying, selling, cooking on the Sabbath, the Lord said he going to do what to you? Defile it shall surely be put to death. So the penalty for breaking the Sabbath, you would be put to death. You understand that? A man was put to death for picking up sticks. Right. This is why we have fringes on right now. For that right. very reason. Right. You understand? Keep reading. For whosoever do any work therein, that soul shall be cut off. Soul shall be killed. Read. From among his people. Six days my work be done, but only to the Lord. Whosoever do any work in the seventh day, he shall surely be put to death. Wherefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations for a perpetual coming. For what? Perpetual coming. A perpetual coming. Being it ongoing, it never ends. It never ends. Right. Now, give me Judy 5 and 20. Now, the nations know that we're supposed to be keeping the Sabbath today. Do you agree with that brother right here in the white? Go closer, go closer. What's your name, brother? Steve? What's your name, brother? Eric. Eric? Okay, so the nations, our enemies, the one that put us in these, in chains, what are they supposed to be with the chain? Where we go? Well, put us in these cotton fields. That man that put us in the cotton fields, that came and got us from the west coast of Africa, he knows something about us that we don't even know about ourselves. Because if, if we knew that, we would be out here breaking the Lord's Sabbath day on a CIAA. Read it. Judah chapter 5, verse 20. Now, therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people and they sin against their God. So, if there be any error in us, meaning if we break in God's laws, like most of us are doing today, what? Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. This shall be our what? Shall be their ruin. This going to be our ruin. This going to be our destruction for us breaking God's laws. Read. And let us go up and we shall overcome them. But if there be no iniquity in their nation. So the nations understand, if we keep in God's laws, they can't touch us. So this is why they, they, they create events like this on the Lord's Sabbath for us to be continuing sin. This is why they know something about us. Read. Let my Lord not pass by. Let their Lord defend them. So they know if we keep in the Lord's Sabbath, like they like, hey, don't mess with the Israelites. Leave them alone. Because they in the will of God. Do you know what the will of God is? Bring it up. Huh? So, but Steve, you know what the will of God is? Excuse me, bro. Do y'all know what the will of God is? Karen, I know everybody know Karen Clark. She, she had a song back in the days called The Will of God. You remember that? Huh? Karen Clark, the Clark sisters. She had a song called The Will of God. Do you know what the will of God is? You blacks and Spanish, do you know what the will of God is? Let's see what he did. Bring it on! So, chapter 40, verse 8. I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. So the song said, I delight. Because the Christian church said the laws are done away with it. But we read in the book of Psalms, David said he delights. He loved that thing. He, right. Read it again. I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. Yea, thy law, thy what, thy law, thy what, thy law is within my heart. They say his law, God's laws is within his heart, in That's his mind. Right. He delight in that thing. He loved that thing. How you doing, brother? What's your question? Uh, 
Okay, what's your question, bro? Okay, that's going into servitude. Servitude. You ever heard of a butler? Okay, that's what that's going into. We're going to show you that when our, when our, when our forefathers were sojourning in the, in the wilderness, we would go and serve as uh, butlers, you, if you were to say. You know what I'm saying? But it won't slavery like our so-called white man had us over here. You know what I'm saying? We were getting paid for that, right? Okay, so that's what it's going into. Read it. Thirty-nine. 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 Thirty-nine
upon the face of the earth. That's right. That don't sound like equality to me. Because somebody above, somebody got to be on the bottom. Right. But right now, where we at? We on the bottom. Why? Why we on the bottom? See it. Like today. The Sabbath day. I'm going to keep harping on that. Because it's the Sabbath day and we, we in the midst of some serious sin right now. Because your enemies have came up with crafty counsel to make you think Sunday is the Lord's Sabbath day. Right. They came from Constantine. You know, the Roman Catholic Church, they intertwined that he worshipped the sun. He was a sun worshiper. So when he burns over with the Roman Catholic Church, they said, oh, we're going to keep this thing on Sunday. That's what happened. Your enemies conspired against you, so you won't keep God's laws. Let, let's see, let's see, let's, did, did, did Christ keep the Sabbath day? Because what they say is, after Christ rose from the dead, then that's when we started keeping the, the Sabbath on Sunday. That's what, y'all heard that? But, let's see something right quick. Let's, because, because, give me uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 1. Because what we're supposed to be doing, we're supposed to be following Christ. Everything he do, every way he walk, we're supposed to walk in the same direction. Right. So if Christ went to church on Sunday, we would be going to church on Sunday. Right? Because we, we're supposed to be followers of Christ. Read it. First Corinthians 10, 11, verse 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I am also of Christ. So Paul said, be ye followers of me. Even as I am also a follower of Christ. So when you follow somebody, you go the same direction they go, all right? So let's see, let's see what Christ did. Okay? Let's see what Christ did. Give me Luke 4 and 16. Let's see what Christ did. Luke 4. Chapter 4, verse 16. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and as his custom was. As his what? Custom was. As his custom was. His way of living, the way he was brought up, right? He went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. On the what? Sabbath day. So Christ went in the synagogue or church, what we call on the Sabbath day, which is the seventh day of the week. Right. That's what we're supposed to be following. Right. So let's see if the apostles kept that going after he went back to heaven. Acts chapter 18, verse 4. And he went in the synagogue every Sabbath. And persuade the Jews and the Greeks. The apostle reasoned in the synagogue every Sabbath. So even after Christ's death and resurrection, the apostles, the disciples, were still keeping the Sabbath day. Right. Brother, brother, y'all got any more questions? Okay, so do you understand you're supposed to be keeping God's laws? You, do you understand you're supposed to be keeping God's laws? Okay, so can we bring some laws out to you? Give me number 15, 38. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them bridges and the border of their garments. So, the scripture says, speak unto the children of Israel. Bid means command that they make fringes. What you see all these brothers have on the bottom of their shirts are fringes. Very important law. Read. Throughout their generation. Right, what? Throughout their generation. The law we keep having children, we are to keep. Fringes on bottom up on the borders of our garden. Me? And that they put upon their fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So, when we put the fringe on, we are supposed to put the borders of ribbon of blue. It could be any color blue. Long as blue. This is our custom. This is our way of life. We keep the custom of the Gentiles. We don't keep our own customs. This is our dress code right here. Right. We all supposed to be walking around here fringed out right now. But we holy people. You understand that? Keep reading that. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. So, you are supposed to look upon your fringe and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So, if you, you if you have a lustful thoughts, you see a woman, you start lusting after her, you look down at your fringe say, I can't do that. That's my sister. You understand that? If you feel like you want to be, want to go steal something right quick, oh, I got to go get a lick. No, you can't do that. Look down at your fringes and remember to keep the commandments. Because you're a holy people. Give me uh give me Deuteronomy 4 and 4. Watch this, no, 4 and 5. Watch this, watch this. Brothers, y'all understand the fringes? So y'all need to get fringes on your clothes. And I will make haste to do that. Time is what time is really short. We don't have time to keep being out here on CIAA weekend 
breaking God's laws because destruction is near. The nukes is coming. You black suspense and name emerges, you better get your mind right. You don't know where he gonna crack that sky. That's right. Give me that door up four or five. Deuteronomy chapter four verse five. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me that you should do so in the land whether you go possess it. Keep therefore and do them. But this is your wisdom. This is your what? Your wisdom. So we keep the God's law is our wisdom. Right now we are not a wise people. We dumb as hell. Bring it up. Compare us worse than an ox and an ass and an ox. We're gonna show you that. Keep reading. Right. And your understanding in the sight of the nations. Which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is wise and understanding people. So, when we burn our fringes, when we keep in the Sabbath holy, when we're not shaving our head bald, when we're not shaving our head bald, when we're not walking off our beards, the nations will look at us and say, Those are wise people. They're wise and understanding people. You understand that, Dusty? Okay, go ahead. I, I see it. Y'all, we have friends. Right. Old times, you let the pest where they're friends. They get a group picked and they put the thing right away. No, nah, those are not friends. This is tassels. They're not keeping God's laws. They're not keeping God's laws. I'm saying what y'all said. So why they exist the same thing? Then they, uh, they put this gun piece out by the way, my laws. Ezekiel 22, 26. Watch this. What's up, Jose? Right, we're going to show you why. What the pastors, what's wrong with the pastors? Ezekiel 22, 26. Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 26. Bring it up. Her priests have violated my law. Her what? Her priests have violated my law. So your pastors, your ministers, your evangelists, your prophets, your so-called prophetess, they have done what? Have violated my law and have profaned my holy thing. So they have profaned God's holy days. They ain't wearing no fringes. They telling you to pay 10% in tithes. Tithes is done away with. Right. They, they, they don't profane everything about this Bible. Hmm. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. Neither have they shown difference between the unclean and the clean. So, the pastor say, oh, it's okay to eat pork now, nah, man. We're under the New Testament. New Testament say, hey, all animals are clean. That's what your pastor would say. Pastor would say, hey, we can celebrate Christmas now. Because Christ died, we can do whatever we want. They profane in God's laws. Keep reading this. And have hid their eyes from my Sabbaths. So, like today is the Lord's Sabbath. The pastors, the real pastors, are going to be out here rebuking the people, telling them they need to go somewhere and sit down and be congregated. Not out here breaking God's laws, but you know what? They're not your pastors. Right. You see your pastors right here. Give me that in Jeremiah 3 15. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. But uh, what is what's the knowledge that our pastors are supposed to be giving us? So we can make sure that we're right with the most high God. Bring it up. What is the knowledge? Let's see. Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth. Seek the what? Seek the law at his mouth. So anytime you uh, listen to a supposed to be man of God, a pastor, a preacher, when he's speaking, you're supposed to be here. You're supposed to be hearing uh, God's laws come out of his lips. Not give me 10%. Because what they're doing, they teach you for hire. They come in there, let's praise the Lord. Get you all riled up, shout, run around all over the floor, jumping over the pews. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just to get your money. Because they teach you for hire. Let's see what the Bible says about that. Read. Micah, chapter 3, verse 11. The hands thereof judge for reward. They do what? The hands thereof judge for so, your pastors, they judge them for a reward. They want somebody to say, hey, pastor, that was a beautiful sermon. They stay at, at, at the end of service. They go all the way to the end of the door. Let me get a hug from everybody. Let me make sure I did a good job today. Let me make sure I got all your time money. You understand what I'm saying? Hmm. And the priest thereof teach for hire. Do what? Teach for hire.
Right. You got so pastors today, they won't even show up to give people the word of God until they get paid. They got to get their money first just to go tell people about the word of God. They teach for hire. We teach for hire and the purpose, therefore, divine for money. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, brother, brother, brother right here. Do you know who you are according to the Bible? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, preacher. Let's see, let's see what you know, brother. You know you're an Israelite? Oh, if you do, so why you, why you out here on the Sabbath day, bro? Pastor, you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? They profane in the Lord's Sabbath. That's right. You just, you just seen it. You see that? Read. And the prophets thou divide for money. Yet will they lean upon the Lord. So they're going to lean on the Lord. Oh, Lord. Read. And say, is not the Lord among us? Because they're getting this money, they're getting this paper craft low dollar. Give me $65 million so I can get me a jet. Go fly around the world to do nothing. But he leaning on the Lord because he's getting all this, what they call prosperity. He leaning on the Lord. The Lord blessing me, he going to do the same for you. You just keep paying your 10%. Yet, will they lean upon the Lord and say, it's not the Lord among us. Not evil can come upon us. Because they getting all this money, they get prosperity. You know what I'm saying? They say, oh, the Lord is with us. Excuse me, brother. Excuse me, brother, right here in the black hat. Excuse me, brother. Do you know who you are according to the Bible? Yeah, I know I am. I'm who? A God. You a God? Okay, okay, okay. So do you know you're an Israelite? Yeah. You do? So so do you know you're supposed to be keeping the Lord's Sabbath day today? Do you know you're supposed to be keeping the Lord's Sabbath day today? Because if you're a God, you're supposed to have the mind of the Most High God. And right now the Most High God is resting. Right. Are you resting? Yeah. Okay, so the most I got? Huh? So what's the, what, where you get that plate? Where you get that bean pie from? <laughs> so did you buy that? So if you say you're a God, you're supposed to have the mind of the most high God. Guess what? Most high God ain't buying nothing today. Right. Right. You understand that? Okay, so you ain't a God right now. Yeah, you being disobedient. I'm glad you announced that, brother. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I sure is. I sure was. But look, guess what, brother? I got myself together. So I'm out here. I love you. Give me Leviticus 19 to 7 right quick. Bring it Watch on. this. Let me show you what we out here doing. Because we love our people and we try to bring our people back to the understanding of who they are. He, he, he good, bro. He want. We try to bring our people back to the understanding of who they are and what we must do to get the kingdom. Okay? We did. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother and thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So we're not supposed to let sin be upon you. If we, if we know sin, we ain't supposed to let you be in sin. Do you know what sin is? Do you know what sin is, brother Aaron? Do anybody here walking aimlessly down the street know what sin is? Go ahead, bro. Right, and, how, uh, and loving yourself is right, but loving yourself is keeping God lost. Hold on, brother. Don't go to work. Hold on, hold on. We're going to show you what sin is first so you understand what you're doing. Okay? Read. First John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the breaking of God's laws, hey, which you have committed today, brother. So you're not a God right now. Well, Hebrews chapter 10 verse 26. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, that we made of no more sacrifice for sins. So you just, it's just like you kicking, you kicking what Christ did us to the curb. You don't hear this truth, but you say what? You say, I'm a God. I know who I am, but you're going to go buy you a bean pie. You said it willfully. We can't do that. Once we come into the understanding of who we are, we cannot continue in sin. This is why we got what we call Black Lives Matter. We, walk, we marching up, up down the street looking for, you know what I'm saying, answers to the black and Hispanic community. Our enemies shooting us down, but we trying to figure out why. The reason why, because we out here on the Lord's Sabbath day, buying, selling, and cooking, giving it pants, looking like harlots. Men with no beers on their face. Right. 
You know what I'm saying? We stay in sin. So guess what? The most I continue to punish us. You're the brother right here with the great beard, with the great shirt. You know who you are according to the Bible, brother? You know who you are according to the Bible? Come talk to us. Come, 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 come. Come, come. You know who you are according to the Bible? You know, you are Israelite. Let me ask you this. What, what would you classify yourself today? Huh? Black man? Alright, so you would say you black man, African American. Be the rule, so you know who the Jews. You know that. Okay, okay. So you know the Lord, today's the Lord's Sabbath day? Because, I, I, I mean, I've been up here and I'm, I'm hearing people understand we the Israelites, we the Jews. But we out here in sin, that don't make no sense to me. You understand know what I'm saying, brother? So, you know, do you know today is the Lord's Sabbath day? Okay, okay. So, uh, let's get, do you know the long on bald in the head? Do you know that? Do you understand the law or that we're not supposed to shave our head bald? You didn't know that? We're going to read it to you, okay? Bring it and this is love, brother. We're not trying to, we're not trying to, you know what I'm saying? This is love. We're coming straight out of the Bible. This is what God wants from us, okay? Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Bring it out. You shall not round the corners of your heads. Neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beards. You're not supposed to round, meaning the Michael Jordan, the Tyrese, the Charles Barkley. You're not supposed to do that. Give me 21 and 5. Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. They shall not make baldness. Make what? Make baldness upon their head. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So, you, you're keeping that law right now. You got a nice beard, brother. But if you can't grow hair on your head, you are to grow it. That's what the Most High God told us to do. Right. Huh? So you don't grow hair? You got to grow it, bro. You got to you, show you that. that, that the Bible call that forehead ball. You got to keep what you can. Give me that. Bring it out. Yeah. Leviticus 13, verse 40. Watch this, bro. Leviticus chapter 13, verse 40. And the man whose hair is falling off his head. Oh, your hair is falling off your head, right? Let's see. He is bald. He is bald. Yet is he clean. And he that hath his hair falling off from the part of his head toward his face, he his forehead bald. Yet he is clean. If your hair is falling off when you're going down, you clean. But you're not supposed to put a razor to it to finish it off. You cannot do that. You understand that, brother? Is this your lovely wife right here? That's not your wife? That's your friend? Okay, sister, what's your name, sister? Do you understand you're Israelite? You do? But let's back up, so let's show you how we understand you're Israelite. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 6 days. Because Deuteronomy is a, is a key chapter in the Bible to identify who the children of Israel are. Who the real Jews are according to the Bible. So we got to get that understanding to know for sure that you're Israelite. We ain't just out here telling you this. We can prove it out the Bible. Yeah, that's, yeah, 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 that's what happened. Look, 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 we're going to go straight to the port. Do we come on here on slave ships? Do we get to this land on slave ships? Did you know that was in the Bible? You did? Okay, okay. Did you know, did you read about the yokes of iron on our neck in the Bible? You read it? So you know about the ships, but you don't know about the yokes of iron. You see that? Where the yokes of iron at? Where the yokes of iron? Let's get some visual. No, the yokes are iron. Let's get some visual. Let's see, let's see this thing. All right. Okay. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 40. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, what? In hunger. So. Do we own any food companies like Food Line, Walmart, Burger King? Do we, do we, as black people, are we owning those places? Do we control, do we control the food in America today? We don't. So we serving our enemies for that. We. And in thirst. And in thirst. If you don't pay your water bill, who cuts it off? The government, which is run by who? The white man. What the Bible, go back to the top of the verse. What, what the Bible call him? Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Thy what? Thine enemies. So right now we serving our enemies. That's what's going on right now. You serving your enemies. Keep reading that. And in thirst. And in nakedness. And in 
in nakedness. We don't own no textile. We don't own no no. We don't we don't own no clothing. If you pull your tag out right now, it's probably gonna say China or Bangladesh. It's not gonna say Israelite or Jew. Right. We don't control that. Right. We got to go to our enemies for the very clothes we have on our back. Right. Right. Particularly when we was on our plantations. We had to depend on master for everything. Right. Food, clothing, water, and a belly gave us that. Right. And guess what else we had to depend on for master for? Guess what else we had to depend on master for? Religion. Christianity. This is why our people are destroyed today. Because bring it, this this monster right here. This is why we this 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 is a big reason why we destroy right now. Because a lot of people out here walking around right now really think Jesus Christ looks like this. Right? So when he was on the plantations, right, slave master will read the Bible, right, and he would put, hold his picture and say, you God, you are nothing. And guess what? We couldn't go back and try to look for ourselves to see if we were true or not because they didn't allow us to read. So we had to take them at their word, which we did. So, we destroy it. Keep me to do our 24. And the word of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So, the, the enemy put a yoke of iron. Look at this right here. Look at this closely. Hey, you black Hispanics that's walking around, y'all come look at your history. It's in the Bible. No slavery, which you are still in right now, is in the Bible. That's right. Yeah, it's trying to wake y'all. So we can fool this off. That's right. You see the yokes of iron on our neck right here, brother? That's biblical prophecy. This happened to us. Did it not? We see it right here. This ain't no painted pictures. This actual photo right here. This happened to us. So what is this telling us? Where's sister going? You listen to sister? What is this telling us? We the, we the children of God. We God chosen people. That's right. We God chosen people. Give me uh, Exodus 19 and 5. Let's see what God thinks about us. Because we don't think very highly of ourselves. You take that, brother. We don't think we don't think very highly of ourselves, obviously. Because we right here, we the walking dead right now. You understand that? We the walking dead. But let's see what God thinks about us. Chapter 19, verse 5. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed. So the most I God said, if you will obey my voice. Then you know, obey this Bible, we and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me. A peculiar, peculiar treasure. That's something very, very special. Very, very delicate. You can't find it everywhere. Right. You understand what I'm saying? That's how special we are to the most I got. Read. A peculiar treasure unto me. Above all people. Above who? All people. Sister, did you know you were above all people? You do that? So you understand it. So let me ask you a question. Do you understand you got to keep God's laws to be above all people? Okay. So can we give you a law to show you that? For us to get back into that position, we must be doing these things. Bring it okay. Let's see. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. Let's deal with the man part first. The Bible said a woman not supposed to wear that which pertain to a man, and a man not supposed to wear that which pertain to a woman. So, if you see us all out here in dresses and high heels, wigs on, and we out here reading the Bible, would you take us seriously? You wouldn't take us seriously. Right? So, we would be an abomination to God if we was in the midst of that sin. Now, let's see what God feels about the woman being in the same uh, manner. Hmm. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Okay, so what's your name, sis? See? Yeah, okay. So, what does men wear that pertains to? What does women wear that pertains to men? A lot of women are walking around here right now in the midst of that sin. Huh? So what is, what, what, what is it, sister? Like what? Give me some examples. Okay. Give me some examples, sis. 
Okay, let's, 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 let's break it down. If you go to the restroom, right, and they don't have no words up there, but they have pictures or images that you can see, how would you know to go, okay, so that's what God's talking about. Right. A woman not supposed to be in pants. Right. You understand that? That's what the Bible says. You understand? So when you in pants, God said that's an abomination. He hates that thing. Right. He didn't create you to put on pants. You know who, you know who put that idea in your head? You know who did that? Your oppressor. Right. The so-called white man. Bring it back. Bring it back. We're going to show you something. Now, when our foremothers, sisters, sisters, y'all know who y'all are according to the Bible? When our foremothers, when our foremothers was in the cotton fields, if you, if you look down here, they had dresses on. They had dresses on. Even working in the cotton field from sun up to sun down, they was wearing dresses. Right. Wearing pants for women is something new on the earth. Right. This thing was started by a woman named Amelia Bloomer, a so-called white woman. They want to be equal to men. You know the woman, do you believe the woman is equal to men? You, you believe it's 50-50? In a relationship, good, that's good. You got a humble spirit, sister. You know what I'm saying? But what we got to do so we can start ruling this earth again, that's what, brother? You got to grow your hair on your head. You got to get your friends and sister. You got to get a dress, a modest dress. Because a lot of these sisters out here today is dressed in immodesty. They look like harlots. Right, right. They look like they ready to get picked up. Right. Okay, brother. Hey, take that fly, brother. We got classes seven days. We got classes, what is it? Seven days a week? Three times a day, brother. Three. This is this is this is life. This is your life right here. This is how you gonna enter into the kingdom of God. That's right. Hold on, let's give me one more scripture. Bust this. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, what Christ said? But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. So if you want to go to heaven, if you want the kingdom of heaven, sister, brother, you got to keep the commandments. Right. If you want to be delivered from slavery, because we're still in slavery. I hope y'all understand that. Right. We are still slaves. What's your last name? What's your last name? Where you get that from? Who gave you that last name? Bring it out. Your plantation owner, your master. That's right. But our name is Israel. That's right. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this and join our IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.